BrewStew.com. I hate it when people forget their keys at your house and they come back and they're like, Oh, I can't go far without these! You ever just get the urge to just choke somebody out? Just make them stop breathing after they just said some stupid shit that you've heard at least 485,000 times? You know, it's like a joke that somebody's dad would make. Because it's these little jokes that everybody makes in certain situations that make them feel like a fucking king of comedy. Like when somebody's looking for something and it's right in front of their face. You know, it's right in front of their stupid damn face. Where's my favorite Smash Mouth CD at? And then they find it and they're like, Oh, if it was a snake, it would have bitten me. <laughs> oh, that's a knee slapper there, Bob Saget. Why don't you tell me another one? If it was a snake, it would have... Bitch, if it was a snake, your ass would have cried and there'd be pee down your leg. Or like on New Year's Eve, when you like go to the grocery store and you run into somebody that you know, and then they go to leave and they're like, I guess I'll see you next year. <laughs> See that next year, you son of a bitch. But then I'll find myself at work talking to customers and saying the same exact stupid little jokes that I hate. Somebody will come up to me and they'll be like, Um, sir, where's the bathroom? And I'll be like, It's right over there, ma'am. If it was a snake, it would have bitten ya. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? Dude, what did you just say? Uh, nothing. You're a piece of shit. So if you're one of these people that use these stupid ass fucking jokes, do yourself a favor and go drink some bleach. And maybe one day, these little sayings will go extinct and our kids grandkids might not even know what the fuck they are and when they forget their keys at somebody's house they'll go over there and get them and just be like hey i forgot my keys bye bye instead of being mr funny fuck and making an ass out of himself